Welcome to the fourth Women Deliver Conference and welcome to Copenhagen, Denmark. This is an important moment. As we chart a course to meet the new sustainable development goals, we have to break down the barriers holding back women and girls around the world. You know, words like awesome and incredible really just cannot capture what is really going on here. It's not just expertise, it's expertise and compassion and caring and innovation and proven techniques, actually. Core to the Women Deliver Conference is the solution. Everything is focused on solution because that's what can inspire, that's what can give hope, and that's what can showcase what should be done moving forward from here. Empowering women and girls to be agents of change themselves. They're not victims, they are people who can make the most positive contribution to society. Giving cash directly to women, turns out, has been a great strategy. It has, in many places, even stimulated the local economy. And so if we want to be accountable to sustainable development goals and we want to make progress for women around the world, we've got to measure and value what they do and count it so that we then know what to do for them. We're very confident that women's progression in society is positively correlated with women's progression in the economy. So getting girls ready for school, getting women ready for work is a net positive for everyone. There you invest in a young person. You watch them grow and become a, a young contributing adult to society. There is this quote, right, that uh, young people are a generation of leaders of tomorrow, but actually we are leading now. We are young people, we can drive the response. Uh, the drive uh, to increase HIV testing and counselling belongs to us. We must promote universal access to sexual and reproductive health services to all girls and women. Yeah. We are not where we were 50 years ago. And so we must continue to soldier. <laughs> What we do with the pregnant women is tapping and mapping every single pregnancy in diabetes and helping them to maintain a normal blood sugar. We don't just want to reach young women, we want to reach men, we want to reach yeah. young boys, we yeah. want to talk to everybody, we want this conversation to be open. We know that there are 75 million children who are living in conflict zones and their chance of going to school is dramatically reduced by the conflict. No child must have to choose between staying alive and getting an education. So part of our mission is to make sure that the journey to and from school is not an unsafe journey. We cannot afford to continue to outlaw love and let hate flourish. Moments like we've had this week is what makes movements. Girls and women have such an untapped potential. They deliver so much more than babies and investing in them is not only the right thing to do, it is the sound thing to do.